Insvikramaditya. Insvikramaditya, brave as the sun, is a modified Kiev class aircraft carrier and the flagship of the Indian Navy, which entered into service in 2013. She has been renamed in honor of Vikramaditya, a legendary emperor of India. Originally built as Baku and commissioned in 1987, the carrier served with the Soviet Navy, and later with the Russian Navy, as Admiral Gorshkov, before being decommissioned in 1996. The carrier was purchased by India on January 20, 2004, after years of negotiations at a final price of $2.35 billion. The ship successfully completed her sea trials in July 2013, and aviation trials in September 2013. She was commissioned on November 16, 2013, at a ceremony held at Severodvinsk, Russia. On June 14, 2014, the Prime Minister of India formally inducted Insvikramaditya into the Indian Navy and dedicated her to the nation. Baku entered service in 1987 and was renamed Admiral Gorshkov in 1991 but was deactivated in 1996, because she was too expensive to operate on a post-Cold War budget. This attracted the attention of India, which was looking for a way to expand its carrier aviation capabilities. On January 20, 2004, after years of negotiations, Russia and India signed a deal for the sale of the ship. The ship would be free, while India would pay 800 million US dollars for the upgrade and refit of the ship, as well as an additional 1 billion US dollars for the aircraft and weapons systems. The Navy looked at equipping the carrier with the E-2C Hawkeye, but decided not to. In 2009, Northrop Grumman offered the advanced E-2D Hawkeye to the Indian Navy. The deal also included the purchase of 12 single-seat Mikoy and MiG-29K Fulcrum D, product 9.41, and four dual-seat MIG-29KUB aircraft, with an option for 14 more aircraft, at 1 billion US dollars, six Kamafka 31 Helix reconnaissance and anti-submarine helicopters, torpedo tubes, missile systems, and artillery units. Facilities and procedures for training pilots and technical staff, delivery of simulators, spare parts, and establishment maintenance on Indian Navy facilities were also part of the contract. The upgrade involved, stripping all the weaponry and missile launcher tubes from the ship's foredeck to make way for a shore takeoff barrier arrested recovery, Stobar, configuration converting the Gorshkov from a hybrid carrier slash cruiser to a pure carrier the announced delivery date for Insvikramaditya was August 2008 which would allow the carrier to enter service just as the Indian Navy's only light carrier in Zviroth retired.
while Virath's retirement had been pushed out to 2010 to 2012, it underwent a final refit which enabled her to serve through 2016. The issue with the delays was compounded by ongoing cost overruns, leading to high-level diplomatic exchanges. India finally agreed to pay an additional 1.2 billion US dollars for the project, more than doubling the original cost. However, ongoing delays with the Vikramaditya's delivery schedule pushed the delivery to 2013. The indigenous Vikrant class aircraft carrier was delayed by at least a year and was expected to be commissioned at the earliest in 2013 from the proposed 2012. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Footprints for more videos.